So today we have my friend Jack who competed at Naga, the same tournament as my other friend Tavian. And yeah, let's see how it goes. This is actually my first time watching the full match. So admittedly, this is pretty blurry, and the second part of it isn't blurry, so we're gonna skip to that. We'll watch only the interesting parts of him standing. But Jack actually has one year of wrestling, so it's not like he's brain dead when it comes to wrestling, like most of you guys. He's just, you know, as good as you get in one year. So, as you see, after they fell each other out, Jack was comfortable enough to take a blast double after he left his hands way too high. And, you know, it was directly in the side control, but Jack passed um, to more north-south because the guy was being weird. Also, I think Jack just prefers north-south. Most of the people in our gym just prefers north-south for his side control. He almost reverses it, but Jack uses head pressure correctly. And, you know, he goes for his, his bread and butter, the mounted guillotine. And actually, that's illegal. That's... <laughs> Jack's been training for seven years and he can't do mounted guillotine. Isn't that crazy? And um, he just ends up keeping him out after the ref tells him not to do all that. So it's lacing legs. He actually almost gets bugged off because I don't know. He, like he got his knees in, and you know that's just the way a lot of people like to escape. But it doesn't really do anything. Now he's just more in a pin position. He's sitting on his hips. Now this isn't really good for points, but he's just sitting in a pin position where Jack is just crushing him. Now, you see he's trying to get an underhook to maybe enter the dog fight, but Jack just completely exits that fight, goes back to standing, and you know, he's more comfortable. He knows he's got one year of a wrestling over like, this bum jujitsu guy. Okay, so I fucking hate when he does this. This is his actual best fucking move, the fucking guillotine sweep, and this guy defended it, so that's exactly what I'm, how I'm going to do it, but he defended it into a guillotine. You know, I don't know what to say, that's just his best move. He actually... Um, looking at this, he did pretty good defending it, but now he's bottom side control, and then they're going to reset. So, you know, they get to reset. The guy actually does a pretty good job at framing, getting away from North South, going into the turtle to stand back up, but this fucking guy was fucking guillotine. I, if he, if he was able to do amount of guillotines, he probably would have got a submission there. And then this guy... He's pretty good at with escaping his mount. Um, I think he was. Last time he didn't have too much of an issue. Jackson's like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's in such a weird position. Yeah. <laughs> he goes for Omoplata. Well, let's be honest. I know Omoplata is like one of the big submissions in Jiu Jitsu. It's like Omoplata armbar triangle. But let's really be honest. Omoplata don't really work these days. I, I'm a blue belt. I don't be. I have not hit one omoplata on anyone good. Omoplata is not really good. I feel like my my teammates are gonna watch this and like shit talk me because I don't because I don't like the omoplata, but I hate the omoplata. He actually ended up passing Jack's guard, and you know Jack's in terrible position right now. But he already dominated most of the fight. This is like four minutes in. Um, Jack starts framing. He's gonna start escaping. Man, Jack really needs to do a submission only tournament. He'd probably be crazy. This guy gets a knee on belly. Jack ends up going into um he could probably take his back from here if he escapes his knee and gets up. But it looks like the guy's applying pressure correctly and he passed the guard again. And you know, fight's over. Uh Jack won. <laughs> Good job, Jack. Um this is my coach. Yeah. Nice.